that first episode, you might think it's trashy and I could agree. But like that setup, that Isekai setup being summoned from another world, right? All of our classmates going back. I love this. The one thing that could have been just perfect is if it was just like Kumodeska Spider, where it's like you don't really know all your classmates, right? I love that aspect of it too. The mind games, trying to guess like who are the classmates in the Isekai show. But here we are, failure frame. We are like uh, an, a debuff guy. We have like poison, stun, paralyzed stuff like that. And then the goddess says. You're, you're trash. She has something out for something about a debuff. She just hates debuffs. And she says too, like, yo, these debuff classes, they're trash. It, not only do you have like a really low probability of the debuff landing, they're weak on top of that. And then remember, he tried to use like that stun on her. And then if it's really trash, why did she use that like debuff cleanse skill thing? Maybe it was automatic, maybe it was a passive, but I think there's more to meets the eye. Because like in the labyrinth, bro was landing everything 100% success rate. There's something else going on here. The goddess is an absolute heinous person. God damn, she is so hot. I can't believe she tried to go hand to hand with that rom-com girl. And even more surprising is the rom-com girl has martial arts. She blocked the goddess one strike and then the goddess is like, yo, okay, yeet. Everyone's still like, what the fuck? No one even like, well, it's not that nobody reacted to that, you know, the goddess fighting the girl, but it's more like there's like two separate factions. There's a neutral group who is helping the rom-com girl and most likely will side with us later on. And then there's the elites who are just a bunch of narcissistic elite pieces of shit that has no empathy and thinks that they're above everything because they're power tripping now. Uh, the resident Giga Chat of the class, I had a little bit of faith because of uh, how he acted in the bus. Guy's a piece of shit. And then the school shooter also. I thought that just because we were nice to him, he wouldn't side with the bullies. Nah, I hope that he does something to the bullies. Anyways, first episode setup was so amazing for me. It just hit everything in terms of trashy isekai I, I love. My only worry is the CGI. In the beginning half, it was nice. In the second half in the labyrinth, uh-oh. Are they going to still just like grind it out in the labyrinth like Ari Fureta style? If they do this for too long, I think a lot of people are going to get bored because who really cares about CGI? But hey... Let's begin today's reaction. Data What do you have? I'm out of MP now. All I have is my natural MP outside of these stat adjustments. You have two separate pools of mana? Try it. <laughs> the CGI fights here. <laughs> oh, wait, did it actually not work? You cannot apply the same skill to a target repeatedly. So is this a guy that's getting, that's like the, the, you know, the success rate is failing or did he get out of paralyzed and we're trying to use it again after, you know, the first one. Now it's not working. <laughs> we have paralyzed, we have sleep. What else was there? Inflict sleep. Yeah, it's a sleep. All right, we got two things now. That's I think sleep is better in Paralyzed probably, right? Uh, I think it's context dependent. <laughs> yes, that's the debuffs. We're out of MP, baby. Dude, is there no level up system where it's just like we're near the end, we're out of resources, and then you kill a monster and boom! Level threshold met. MP, full restore. Creepy ass chickens, man. No opening! <laughs> Stop standing there and fucking run, motherfucker! I swear to God, you just use paralyzed and you just sit there. He goes paralyzed, paralyzed, and he's like, "Oh no, I'm out of mana. What am I gonna do?" And he just sits there the entire time. Last episode too, move. You got no energy to move. <laughs> Oh, he's going crazy. Yeah, 
あと一発くらい One more とかレベルが上がりましたオーヴィアスリー、はい、any time you're running out of resources at the critical moment you level up full restore everything's good perilous perilous and we'd run the fuck out of here how much MP we got now Did you see that level? Why is it jumping? Did you see the level? Dude, he didn't just level up once. He just like, for some reason, everything was stacked up and now he just gained like 300 levels at once. <laughs> oh, right, the debuff. Okay, so none of the monsters actually died yet. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought that they were dying, but like, you know, debuffs, right? It takes a while for the fucking debuffs to work. So, like, we were using Paralyze to poison people. No one's really died yet. Finally, the chicken dies once. 250 levels, boom, right there. Stack them, Yeah, maybe it's just because it's the ruins? Because the goddess said that, like, debuffs suck, bro. But then again, like, obviously, this is the twist, right? She says something, and maybe that's true for a lot of people. Maybe he's different. Maybe he's a different kind of debuff guy where, you know, the same rules doesn't apply to him. You sleep, bro. Poison. 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 We had like 33 Monica, 8,540. You don't need to fucking worry about it anymore. We're already so fucking busted, bro. Toka Nimori, level 258. Intelligence is pretty high. Everything's pretty high. MP a lot. Um, e class here. The stat distribution is pretty. Um, aside from mana, they're all about the same, huh? <laughs> Damage over time, baby. It's so OP, bro. All he has to do is paralyze, you know, poison, poison. Now we just fucking wait. Ah, we just fucking wait. And everyone just a dot, 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 dot. It's just, that's one of the most satisfying things about dots as well, man. You play any, like, turn-based games where, like, or any games that has dots, it's just so satisfying. Some people really like it, some people really hate it. I love dots. Yo, what does the poison scale with, right? Is it attack? Paralyze, 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 paralyze. Dude, our level is so fucking high. You're gonna eat the eyeball? Oh. Bro's eating acid. Uh, what is that shiny thing? Our bag changed colors. Cause the bag is just like a glorified um flashlight right now, right? You put magic into it or something, and then fucking flashlight, but it's turning purple. Okay. Heavy. Is there food inside? Of all the things I've seen in this show. I don't care about the transportation. I don't care about the goddess. I don't care about the dot power. This is the most unrealistic thing. What the fuck? You giving me straight up fucking beef jerky? Like out of a bag. Not even like raw material. It's pack his beef jerky and Coca-Cola. The oh, fuck? <laughs> he just ate an eyeball for no reason. He could have just waited a little bit more than he could have gotten beef jerky. Bro ate a fucking monster eyeball for no reason. Now, let's think about why it produced food, right? The sequence of events was him obviously killing the monsters, right? He ate the eyeball, he laid down, and the bag started to glow purple. Now, did the eating of the eyeball have anything to do with the bag glowing purple? I don't think so. The goddess said, like, 
you put your like power into that shit and then the bag will like illuminate i didn't realize there's another utility to food so maybe the bag is just reacting to him and his new powers and we got the beef jerky and the eyeball is not part of the equation we still eating beef jerky <laughs> look at all the dots working slowly yeah, because they don't have to animate this shit. Yo, Failure Frame realized the studio was like, yo, dot animate, dot isekai. They don't have to fucking move. They can just stand there. They can slowly shade them fucking more purple and purple. This is genius. Nothing needs to move. Level <laughs> From air to something more. <laughs> he wanted to like kill the dad, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> the inner Toka. Huh? Who the? <laughs> Actually had a nice family. But you can't be weak like that. People will trample all over you. So we need to bring back the old edgy Toka, bro. Right? Because like the whole thing is he just exists. Uh, people bully him. He's so easy to be bullied. They call him Air. But there's a different side of him that nobody knows. He's a fucking menace. He fucking... He did this to the goddess, remember? So like, I want that side to show up more. Okay. Alright. It's pretty much the anime telling us that, yes, his mind shift has changed. He is now Dark Toka. <laughs> 9.57. 9.57, bro. E-class. More prayers. Like, I wonder what the level difference is going to be with the other students, right? Because the other students, like, this is like one of the most... End game territories. You're not supposed to leave this place alive. Every one of these monsters is... It's a disaster, right? Everyone else above... They're probably not even gonna be level 100. They're probably like level 10, level 20, right? This dude is about to crack 1,000. Like, I hope that, like... We'll see. We'll, we'll see exactly what the level difference is. Because the numbers is so high right now. I wonder if they're gonna make it, like, keep it closer. If this is supposed to be such a wide gap. Eyeball monster, bro. We already. Paradise. <laughs> He's coming for revenge. <laughs> He's coming for revenge, bro. The eyeball. You ate one of my brothers before. New floor? New stratum of the labyrinth or what? Yeah. <laughs> he always prays before he loots. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> well, the other guy that he looted, the clothes in the beginning, he, he looted and then he prayed. Thank you for all the money. Is it gonna move? Nope. あんたも廃棄者さんか。ん the dark hero, reputed to be the strongest of all. But even if he was supposed to be the strongest of all, like, wasn't the other guy's class, like, still highest rating? This is still only A rank, so that's what I didn't understand. Because, like, he said the strongest of all, but it's still a lower rank. She sent him down here, too. Oh, you already dead. You already dead. What is it? Worse than the Great Demon Empire. 
Yeah. <laughs> just three ways. So the middle is supposed to be some, I don't know, spooky demon lord place. The goddess fucking suck. They all suck. We all suck. It's just, it's just you know, we're trying to get a revenge. Forbidden magic! Menai. Thank you for be oh wait. Did he just Where'd he get the button shirt from? No no he was already he already had that underneath. He already had that underneath. I was like, did he take something else? No 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 no. It's just his original drip, right? New drip? Did he just take the cover off? The white shirt was underneath. Anyways, we're leaving now. Soul Eater! Yeah. That's the Soul Eater? Is that the Soul Eater? The Labyrinth Guardian. Soul Eater? It killed everyone else. Even the Dark Mage. <laughs> it's just so different. It looks like a PS1 cutscene, bro. Like, shit just straight up looks like a fucking PS1 cutscene. Not even PS2 animation. This is PS1 animation, bro. Is that the exit? Maybe. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. 1,229. It's all... Oh, there's a soul leader. It's all fun and games. Until you meet a monster that doesn't care about debuffs, right? Because like in RPGs or like turn-based games, think about it. How, like, what is, you know, a debuff's counter? Cleanse or immunity, right? If you have immunity, then the debuffs won't even land. And if you can just cleanse the debuffs, that's also like a hard counter. <laughs> Take that gem outside her head. <laughs> oh! A hand is gone! Almost! <laughs> Can't even cast Paralyzed! あのビームは発動する。得られない。脱出には Alright. I am pleasantly happy with the pacing of this, because like again, I just wish that we wouldn't stay in the labyrinth for so long, fighting random CJ monsters that I don't give a fuck about. We're almost already there. Just beat the soul eater and we're out. Jesus! Good. Good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, with, with that tongue doing for a second. Oh! Oh, we can summon monsters. We'll create them. Ooh. Oh, it's the victims. Soul Eater's fucked. It's taunting. I will give the Soul Eater one thing. The design of this monster, it's actually really creepy and scary. I've never really felt this way towards any of the random CJ monsters, you know. This one is actually like, I can respect it. 
I, I think it definitely stands out. <laughs> so what's the reason why it's not shooting the beam? Is it just playing with us? Like, I thought it's supposed to automatically shoot beam as soon as it sees us once, but like, I guess it's just toying with us. It's not a real person. You already looted those motherfuckers. They dead. If they were here, they'd probably want you to fucking do it. Come on, just do it. Okay. The CGI, bro. You fucking pussy! The goal is to get revenge and poison every fucking human that dare cross us in that bus as soon as we get out of here. You backing out right now? You back out right now? I'm dropping this show. This is not my main character. No! You can't use this on a human? No! You need to use it on a human! We need to use it on those elite kids that's fucking us up! <laughs> Hajime is better. Hajime better than this fucking fraud. No! Give him some time. This is only episode two, right? He needs to have some moments to like do some kind of paradigm shift in his head. And you know, Hajime also did that shit in Arifurita, right? He, it took it took it, like monster cells to fucking turn him into a different fucking being to get that mentality. So he'll get there. Let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> How are we all human? Do you not see this? These are fucking random ass spawns. The fucking soul eater just puked out pink sludge and then it just formed out that how can you still think that this is a human? <laughs> I'm on the soul eater side, bro. <laughs> She's having way too much fun. <laughs> Really? You need the elf to fucking save you right now, bro? You need the elf to save you? I guess the elf is gonna save him, huh? I mean, we saw the elf out. I don't know if it was an actual elf, actually. I just thought that she was blonde. Was she an elf in the opening? I don't remember. But that blonde girl, probably gonna save him then, huh? Save yourself! Wait! Paradise. Wait! Oh, we should have let him cook! We should have let him cook! Wait! It was all just acting! Oh, you got me. Okay, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, if he had that other girl show up and save him, I would have been like, this ain't my main character. Hold up. He got us. He got us! He got okay, I take it back. I take it back! My man, got it. And then the guard was down. Ah. Oh, he's going to get the revenge shot. We can't be like that. Don't be normal. No, 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 no. Be cruel. Poison. I don't think he's right. Uh, yeah, he got the mentality. He got the resolve to kill. Good. Good. But he is, holy shit, he is fucking monologuing right now, man. <laughs> he is just doing the most cliche fucking monologue. You think Soul Eater knows what the fuck is going on? He's like, what the fuck is going on? Just finish me right now, bro. It's going on a fucking speech. <laughs> Bro's doing my job. I'm the one supposed to be yapping. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, he's even fucking taunting now. Holy, dude, 
I didn't know he had this side to him. Look how much pleasure he's getting. He's like, oh, pretty pathetic. The weakest human just took you down. What did you say? That was an interesting mechanic. There. So if they try and force themselves to... Okay, if you're, if you're debuffed, right? It's going to take more time. They can't struggle. Poison. Poison 3! Sleep. <laughs> That's cool. Yo, how much level are we gonna get for this? These are the souls I'm gonna assume. Yo. Oh, I, okay. All the humans are gonna say, "Oh, good job. You freed us. We can all rest in peace." Zombie will toast to my death. They were watching it all. <laughs> <laughs> Even the monster eating you. Some of them should be like, damn, you almost got me with that fucking acting. That's the couple. That's the couple. Where's the where's the forbidden dark mage? Oh, we need to talk to him. You. You took my drip. You took my scrolls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, we gotta take it out. We have to take it out. Hype. Now we can open the door and we're fucking out. Finally. Jana. Bye bye. Like, if this is Ari Furata, we'd still need like four more fucking episodes to clear the first labyrinth. And then the biggest despair of all happened to me. If you go watch my season one reactions, because I'm like, oh, we're out of the labyrinth. Took us like six or seven episodes. Oh, we're gonna meet the class? And it's like, well, you see, there's actually a lot of other labyrinths that you need to go and clear. And once you clear those labyrinths, then you can access the main labyrinth. And I'm like, when are we ever gonna meet these goddamn kids? Like, I. I, no disrespect to Ari Furuta. I love the power fantasy moments when we meet the other kids, but like these labyrinth episodes really kill me, man. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Failure Firm episode two. The CGI is so jarring. The change in CGI, like, like the, the, the constant shift in just like 2D drawing into CGI is just like, whoa, it, it definitely is a little bit distorting. Like whenever you're watching something and then your immersion gets ruined because like of the jarring change in the regular drawing to CGI, it's, it's pretty bad, right? Let's come on. It's pretty fucking bad, but like, it's fine. Now, what was the point of this episode though? We beat the labyrinth, right? We beat the labyrinth and thank God we finally did it. But then there's some important stuff while we were beating the labyrinth. So. His levels are cracked. It's like over 1,000 now. His levels also, his skills also leveled up. We can do like AoE sleep, AoE poison, AoE paralysis. And then there's also the dark mage that had different scrolls. That was like forbidden art, forbidden skills, right? And with those two, we can't really read them, I don't think. But if we learn it, I'm sure it's going to make our debuffs even better. There's another character that showed up outside a labyrinth, I think. There was some girl there. Um, she was like blonde, so she's probably going to be our first party mate that we're going to encounter. And the main character's personality, I, I... Hey, listen, if I didn't pause, straight up. If I didn't pause and I let this play through, then I feel like me popping off at him, even though I didn't know, he got us good and that's the content. I truly believe that if I didn't pause, the content wouldn't have been good. Me fucking popping off yelling because I got mad that he thought that these are humans is part of the content. So I don't want to fucking hear it that you don't like the pauses. I'm going to pause even more for you, man. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't use this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.